Good morning everybody, this is Dean from Bridgeview Manufacturing and I just thought I'd take a few minutes and just do a quick walk around our VR581 hay rakes. Haying season is just around the corner and normally we would be like to be showing them at trade shows like Ag in Motion or Farm Progress but that's not quite so easy to do this year so I thought I would try this instead. For those of you that don't own a rake you might be wondering why uh, you should think about adding one to your fleet. Um, rakes are very you know they're an inexpensive option compared to buying a second baler. You can easily double your productivity uh, with a lot less expense and uh, a lot less complexity than a baler. They're you know roughly half the price of a new baler. Uh, extremely low maintenance, and you don't need uh, you don't need a lot of experience for an operator, and you really don't need much of a tractor. And just the cost of operation on them, you can idle around in the tractor 13, 1400 RPM all day long uh, versus running a second baler at, at full PTO speed. So it's, it's minimal wear and tear on your tractor as well. Uh, as well as that, you, it gives you options to deal with windblown swaths. It can, you know, recollect those. It can uh, get under, you know, wet crops, uh, stuff that's been rained on. It'll give you a chance to turn it and uh, stuff that's been pounded down into the stubble just from a heavy rain. It'll, a rake will, because they kind of sweep sideways as they're going forward, they'll pick that up and, and set it back on top of the stubble and it makes it a lot easier for the baler to pick it up. So you will, you know, you will get more hay at the end of the day. As far as specific features of a bale king goes, I'll try to just go through them quickly. For the hitch, we do use a cast hitch, and you can get the clevis attachment for it if you run a straight draw bar on your tractor. Bale Kings all require three remotes. There's the, the wheel lift up and down, the wings opening and closing, and the window width adjustment. However, we do have uh, diverter kits, so you can reduce it down to two remotes, depending on what your tractor has. We've been building rakes for about 15 years now, 15, 16 years, and we've, you know, we keep improving them. Uh, we've learned a lot over the years, and the 581 is, uh, it's just become a really solid rake. I guess the backbone of the rake is the frame. Uh, we run, like our earlier rakes, we ran a single truss under the hitch beam, and now we run a double truss. Uh, it's very solid. It, it, hay fields are notoriously rough. So the double truss gives you great rigidity for, for the bounce, as well as the side pull. Uh, little things like under our main hitch pull here, if you can see it on the camera, but it is tapered inwards. And it's just a little little thing. Um, rakes with the long hitch, it's pretty easy to overturn them and, and clip the tractor tire on the hitch. But with the way we tapered that up, it doesn't give the tractor tire, uh, it doesn't give the lug anything to really grab on. So it'll, it'll just take a hit and uh, slide past and keep on going. As far as tires go, we run implement tires on everything. It's pretty common to see like a 215 or 225 car tire on a rake. Uh, we used to use them, you know, 15 years ago, but the implement tires are just, you know, they're just tougher in, uh, you know, in that short hay stubble. It's, it's pretty hard on tires and we've just found that the implement tires take it a little bit better. So this particular rake is running 9.5-15 tires. Uh, under the surface, we run uh, a two inch hardened kingpin on these casters. Uh, it's something you wouldn't really notice, but we found that anything less than that will just bend if you, if you hit a, a big gopher badger hole with it. Um, the two inch hardened shaft, it's good to go. It'll, it'll bounce over those rough fields all day long and uh, it'll last as long as it needs to. The, all of our rakes come with that red transport lock bar. Uh, to make it easy to hook up, we did make it telescoping. That's why it's got this step in there. So when you wing up, you just get the rake close. Uh, you can pull that black handle, uh, it'll telescope outwards. And uh, when you drive forward and wing in, it'll, it'll snap into its lock position. So you don't have to be very precise when you get it close to lock it up for transport. As far as our wheels go, uh, the rake wheel is it's the heart of the rake. And we put a lot of time and effort into making ours a good rake wheel. 
For one thing, there's 62 inch diameter. Uh, most, it's very common, I guess, to have a 55 inch diameter rake wheel. Uh, the 62s with that bigger, uh, bigger size, they roll easier. Uh, they'll sweep under a heavy, you know, a real heavy hay swath better. They turn slower, so they're, they are easier on alfalfa leaves. Um, we run 48 teeth on our rake. The lot of 40 teeth is probably the most common across the industry, but 48, it gives you this nice close tine spacing, which is good for, you'll see it in like bar mode hay uh, or just fine hay conditions. The close teeth will sweep the ground a little bit, a little bit better. Uh, these are seven millimeter tines, and we have a patented single bolt mounting system. So if you ever do break a tine, one bolt, slide it out here, slide a new one in, and you're back uh, back raking in just a few minutes. And that's a patented feature. We run a uh, galvanized wind guard on all of our rakes. That's standard equipment, so it gives it a nice smooth surface. Uh, it does help in the wind, but it does, it mostly gives the rake a nice smooth finish on the front, so there's nothing really to wrap on. Our spring flotation system is another patented part of our rake. Uh, very common in the industry to use just a standard tension spring with, with spring loops hooked to an eye bolt on each end. They're, they're a bit notorious for breaking that loop off. Uh, we wanted to solve that problem, so we mounted the spring on a slide rod and these nuts thread in. Um, they, they just work, they last forever, and they give you really smooth flotation. Uh, it gives you good uh, control for your down pressure, and, and that's important too for minimizing the amount of dust you pick up in your swath and minimizing wear on your, on your tines. Uh, all of our sliding, like moving parts, are either uh, you know they're either rubber mounted or it's a greasable bushing so there's no steel on steel wear points all of our uh, you know exposed parts here they're either you know powder coated or plated uh, getting back to the wheels here uh, every single rake wheel has adjustment of its own like individual pressure adjustment for you know getting that perfect down pressure uh, however at the back of the rake there is on the main lift cylinder there's an adjustment to adjust the entire wing all at once so it's very easy to adjust and and you can adjust it you know field by field if you have to to you know you just want just enough down pressure to do the job nothing more like any any more down pressure than what you actually need is just harder on tines and you're just raking more uh, more dirt than you need to uh, another big feature of a Bale King rake is all of our rakes have standard hydraulic windrow width adjustment. Um, we've done various designs over the years. Uh, very common to see like a single uh, main frame here, like a two-piece frame that telescopes outwards. Uh, but it's a, you know, it's a steel-on-steel -steel wearing system, and you're you're trying to slide the tires out sideways. So you either have to be rolling forward or you need to lift up the back end and push them out. Uh, we've solved that problem by going to this pivot box system. There's a single cylinder in the middle on the hitch. When that retracts, it pushes these pivot boxes out, which gives you a wider windrow width. Uh, very smooth, very trouble-free, uh, and they just, they just work great. The other thing we do on a Bale King, and it's uh, not a very well understood feature, but it's what makes a Bale King a Bale King, uh, the bottom cylinder is, we call it a compensation cylinder, and what that does is when you, when you wing out, or when you increase your windrow width, it pushes the entire rake boom out uh, in a parallel fashion. Normally, just the way V-rakes work with their geometry, they normally want to pivot around the pin on, we call it on the scissor arm. So what happens, because it's pivoting on the middle of the boom, when you push the back end of the rake out, it brings the front end of the rake in, which reduces your overall raking width. So if you buy a rake, you expect it to do 28 feet. That might only be the case if you're running a, a narrow windrow. Uh, but if you push the back end out, you might only be raking 25 feet or 24 feet. Uh, it's, it's a common problem across the industry. But we've solved that with that compensation cylinder, which it adjusts the geometry so the wings push out parallel, 
And if you buy a rake that'll do 28 feet, it's always going to do 28 feet, no matter what your windrow width setting is. As far as the rear frame goes, uh, very common across the industry to see just a single beam up and over. We run ours uh, with that truss towards the back of the rake, which gives it uh, a lot more rigidity for those rough fields. Standard uh, rear tires, it's a single tire. Uh, it's good enough definitely for most situations, but uh, to go a step up, we do offer a tandem walking axle system, which is great for you know exceptionally rough ground or irrigation pivot ruts. The, the tandem will, will bridge the pivot rut a lot better and take some bounce out. We run standard road lights, standard safety chains, uh, slow moving vehicle sign, of course. Uh, this particular rake, the 12 wheels, they'll do an 18 foot hay bind swath, no problem. It's pretty common for, you know, across, uh, you know, some of the other competitive models to need a 14 wheel. A lot of guys that are trading up to Bale King are asking for a 14 and uh, we tell them, you know, you don't, you don't necessarily need it. The, a 12 wheel will do them. We've got lots of guys doing it. Uh, with the bigger wheel and just the geometry of the rake, we can we can just reach that a little bit better. Uh, however, if you do want a 14 wheel, if you're doing bar mode hay or you just want a little more coverage, a little more forgiveness in the curves, we do offer a two wheel extension kit to turn it into a 14 wheel rake. Um, it's just uh, it's just an extension across the boom here, one in the hitch, and two more rake wheels, and you're good to go. So we've had Bale King rakes, we've had really good feedback from our customers, uh, you know, what the customers are telling our, our uh, sales reps and territory managers. They're, they're rock solid, they're next to no issues, and we'd re really love to see you own one. Thank you. Bye.